Absolutely. Hello and welcome to our show. It is a Thursday. Miss Quad yes, generally names the day and yes. gives us something uh, powerful. Yes. So what do you have today? I'm going to go a little bit off the beaten path. Uh -oh. You know, I try to go with whatever the letter of the day starts mm -hmm. with and that's the letter I say the word will begin with. But not today. Not okay. today. Oh, right. uh, I have a word that's on my heart and it's uh, called consideration. Yes. Oh. Uh, and I think that we all need to consider other people's uh, feelings, yes. emotions, uh, uh, before we react. Hey, That's a good one. Hey, you know what I'm saying? That's a good one. Yeah, yeah I like that. Consideration. Yeah. Consideration. So, All right. So, considerate Thursday? Yeah, so we'll call it considerate Thursday. I like that. Just be a little bit more considerate. I like that. I like that. That's yeah. a good word for everybody. Yeah. Good Both stuff. sides. That's I'm, a good one. Yeah, I love it. it. I love it. So, welcome to Sister Circle Live. This is our show. I'm Rashawn Ali. I'm Selena Johnson. I'm yours truly, Miss Quad. And I'm Trina Braxton. Yes, so of course this is the place where we talk about issues, uh, we interview amazing people, and when I tell you, the amazing, I said it again, singer, extraordinaire, incomparable. the incomparable Regina Bell yes. is here in the circle today. Yes, ma'am, you love. When I met her this morning, I just said, I stopped in my tracks and I said, may I? Mm. Meaning, I don't want to invade anyone's space, but I would like to hug you. Yeah. And she said, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, God, thank you. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. I didn't even ask. I just went on in for it. <laughs> I just went on in for it. Yes. Just legendary. You know, anybody that can sustain in, in our business yeah. for a long period of time, like she has, mm -hmm. I mean, like we going plus 30 years yes. and to still be bringing out music mm -hmm. and to be healthy and to be well mm -hmm. and to be sane mm -hmm. and is just you know, it just goes without saying. Yeah. It's commendable, and it just puts her in legendary status for me. Absolutely. As a singer, it just, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Speaking of being legendary status, <laughs> Miss Tony Braxton oh. performed last night. <laughs> yes, she and did. Somebody was shaking the tail feather. Somebody, somebody was shaking their tail feather. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Tawanda and I got all the way bamboozled by what? Tony Braxton. Oh. Okay. Yes. Yes. I'm you all here. on the program, honey. <laughs> she put me all the way on the program. I said, Tony. I'm 40 plus, and you don't mean it's forever 21. <laughs> 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 but you you know what I mean? I'm I'm not doing it, dude. Okay, then. I felt very little out of divine in that little dress, but yes. you know, I made it work. <laughs> my bra hanging out. Oh, my God. But I remembered the moves, and I was on the two and the four. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that my wig got cute. rained on, but you know, I still made it happen on stage. When I walked <laughs> off, honey, I, I almost fell. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Tony had me in some shoes I never wore before. Oh, my <laughs> mercy. I there, literally, I mean, keeping it together. Right. I, didn't, I didn't fall. Right. I, I didn't fall. Did. Yes. So, uh, it, was a, it was a really great time to be yeah. here. Yeah. Like, did a wonderful job. Right. right. Um, and, of course, Tony, she always pleases the crowd. I love you so much. Mm. And, uh, what? <laughs> Guess who came on the stage? Who? Guess what she put in the program? Who was on the program? Birdman came on What? Okay. Look at everybody. Oh! oh. oh. Hey. You yeah. love your man. Oh, oh my man. gosh. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> I mean, that's a real <laughs> Going yeah. on. You might not be together, but you sure are wearing the uniform. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, it was it was a great. It was so oh, amazing. It was oh, a great good, time to be here. Good, yeah. good. I, it's crazy that you say you got bamboozled into singing. Did she just tell you guys that she needed she, you to do background? She told us when we got there, and she was like, "I didn't want to tell you because I didn't want you to come like Tom. Why wouldn't we not? Why would we not come? Right. Mm. But I mean, but if you would have told us, we would have been more prepared because we would have actually." Gotten some dresses that fit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we'll start there. Right. I mean, I got, I got a, a great pair of Spanx out of it. Uh -huh. You know, from wardrobe. You know, so I'm gonna be, you know, wearing Spanx those. Spanx expensive. You, you understand what I'm saying? So I'm gonna be wearing those down to the circle. circle. <laughs> you know, suck it all on in. So right. thank you, Tara and wardrobe. Yes. For my new Spanx. Yes. The new Spanx. When well, you got one, that's good. That's, that's good. good. So I'm so happy for something. you. Look like you had a great time, and yes, I'm sure everyone in attendance had a wonderful. Time. Thanks again to Tony Braxton for joining us uh, this past Tuesday. Yeah, it was great. She definitely was a, a beautiful guest. And of course, we'll continue that royalty today with Regina Bell. Let's get to the top of our daily feed and we talk about somebody who is living their best life, y'all. Mm -hmm. Cardi B. Yes. Mm -hmm. Seems like every day there's a new story about the one and only colleague Cardi B and her amazing success. And 
Here's Good another one. She's the latest celeb to sign on for a Las Vegas residency. Mm. Mm. According to the Associated Press, a Palms Casino Resort announced she will start performing there in the spring as part of the debut of the hotel's new day and nightclub, Chaos. Mm. And speaking of debuts, uh, Pepsi released a 15-second teaser of her commercial set to debut during the big game, and, and the people are talking. One fan tweeted, now, I like Coke. But let me tell you, I will drink Pepsi now. <laughs> Cardi, congratulations uh, from Sister Circle on all of your success. She is definitely doing it. It has yeah. been mm -hmm, something to see in a city that is a Coca-Cola city to see all these Pepsi signs up oh, now. Yes. That's been something. But Pepsi got that long money, too. Yeah, they, they do. do. They, they, they stay long. having a, um, a commercial doing big games. Oh, yeah. of course, sure of course. <laughs> they're they're premier sponsors, so yeah. um, one of the premier sponsors of the big games. Yeah. So, um, that residency in Vegas is no joke. I was just a background singer. Let me tell you something. Yes, about too the, tell us how, how, about, about the Vegas shiny coin. Yes. <laughs> it's a good shiny Cardi, coin. I'm going to do a quad. You're doing your thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> just like Drake with that ten million dollars. Yes, I'm trying to tell you, they had cheese down to the Vegas. Down to the Vegas. Oh, you yeah. know what? I just believe that you <laughs> know the, <laughs> the good folks in Vegas are seeing where the money is coming mm -hmm. from. You know, and Cardi B and Drake are like they are the top yeah. of pop culture. So yes, you got to get the got to get the good people that's gonna get you the coins. And you know, too, Vegas yeah. is starting to be more aware of what's popping for them. You yes, know, I'm, I'm really excited to see that they're they're bringing more diverse mm -hmm. artists yes. to the residency. Yes, because yes. it yes. was wasn't always like that. Right, yeah. right. So that's that's awesome. And, and now artists, you know, normally it takes a while to mm -hmm. be able to get a residency, mm -hmm. but they're they're going now. Yeah, so that's very very yes. fun. It's like see. that West Coast musical Broadway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's amazing. It's beautiful. Great coin. Well, Jay Z, Meek Mill, and Van Jones have been dubbed the Avengers of criminal justice reform, joining forces with the co-owner of the 76ers and other titans of industry of the industry to create the Reform Alliance. It's a new initiative dedicated to changing the laws that negatively impact an estimated four and a half million Americans currently on probation. Mm. This is an amazing example of people putting their money where their mouth is. And as Meek Mill said in their joint press conference yesterday, speak for the people who don't have a voice. I'm so glad, because Meek could have easily just been, all the things that he's been through, mm -hmm. and of course have been well documented on this show, uh, he could have easily just laid down and said, all right, that's just me, you know, that's my that's my story. But to be at the forefront of helping other people who are in similar situations as his, I think it's great. And to use that platform. And I don't know if you guys saw his Instagram, but he was like fanning out. <laughs> so he, t he posted a picture of uh, everyone sitting there. You know, you have all these billionaires. He's like, what am I doing here? Oh my God, oh my God, these are billionaires. Right. What am I doing here? Okay, just chill, just chill. What my mama gonna say? You know, just all this <laughs> is in them. So you can go, that's going through his right, head. Right, right, it's going through his head. So it's really, really cute. But to be just, um, you know, a little bit more transparent, but this is great to see people from all walks of life yes. coming together, and that's what we all need to do. That's yeah. what's needed in the world. Absolutely. Today. Absolutely. Especially today. Yes, absolutely. Well, uh, Selena's sorority, Zeta Phi Beta Bridge, was vandalized on the University mm. of Virginia campus mm. by an unknown party with the words, it's okay to be white, a phrase frequently used online by white nationalists. According to a local paper, a spokesperson for the police said that the Charlottesville Police Department is not investigating. Mm. Selena? Well, you know, the people just play way too much. Yes. They, they really do. And, and what, first of all, it is okay to be white. Yes. Just like it's okay to be black. Right. It's okay to be Indian. It's okay to be Asian. It's okay to be everything. We didn't need you to point that out. We already know that it's been okay to be white since the conception of time. Since, right. since the inception of, of, of life. Right. It's been okay to be white. But that's one thing. Another thing is that it's disappointing. It could have been DST, it could have been AK, it could have been SG Row, it could have been Al uh, Kappas, Alphas, Qs. It could have been any Anybody. of our organizations. Mm -hmm. It's disrespectful to history of what our organizations mean for us. And, and you know, I get very annoyed when people say, well, why are you all going into a Greek organization? First of all, Google us. That's mm -hmm. first. Google Divine mm -hmm. Nine. Second of all, Greek organizations were created because we didn't have our own organizations to be unified during a time during the civil rights movement <laughs> and during the time where it was not just the civil rights movement, but even during the time that too, yeah. before that even, mm -hmm. during the time where it wasn't, um, you know, favorable, which we won't even go there, to be African-American in college. So we created our own groups because 
other other nationalities had their own groups. Mm -hmm. And we weren't so, uh, allowed to, to join their groups. Exactly. Right. And, yeah. it was and a we also group. wanted to take social action to better the people around us, the yes. people that we see outside of the college walls. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. But we, we did it to create unity within our own um, within our own people, which is something that we do today. Hence, Black Lives, Black Lives <laughs> Matter, different social groups that you see all the time. But this is a historic, these are, this is an histor this is a historically black organization. So it's blatant disrespect towards all of the members of Div Divine Night. Obviously, I'm outraged because they, you know, right. took the hit. But I feel like we all took the hit. Absolutely. Because you came at, um, one organization, but to try to take down the entire concept mm -hmm, of mm -hmm. black Greek organizations. Mm -hmm. Very well stated. So Amazing. someone should say something. Mm -hmm. There should be some type of investigation, and the fact that there isn't is disheartening. It is disheartening. Very well stated, Selena. Uh, the Michael Jackson musical titled Don't Stop Till You Get Enough is set to premiere in Chi-Town this fall before debuting on Broadway next year. The score will comprise hits from Jackson's catalog with the story drawing inspiration from his life. Are we here for this? Always. Always. Okay. Anything Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson we're yeah. here for. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to see. We're going to see. Mm -hmm. And after receiving six Oscar noms, including Spike's first for directing and Best Picture Black Klansman, is heading back to theaters. Yay. It will be re-released this weekend, and Academy members will be allowed in showings uh, free of charge. Will be allowed to go to the oh, movies wow. for free. Right. That's a nice tactic. Uh, membership mm -hmm. definitely has its benefits. Of course, uh, Black Klansman is up for movie of the year. Um, it was really a good movie. It was really good. Yeah. It was a good movie. I laughed a lot. <laughs> and then I cried. <laughs> David Washington did an amazing oh, job. Oh my God. He did this dude so. Was following in his father's footsteps. Absolutely. And that voice, mm -hmm. it sounds so it's much alike. <laughs> right. Yeah. I love the fact though that, you know, even when we had the chance to interview him, he always makes sure that people talk about his mama. He does. Yeah. He does not let that go. And yeah. then uh, we had the chance to say, talk about his mother first. And he was like, thank you so mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. Because so many people, you know, talk she about his dad. She was the first thespian. Yes. She was the first one. Absolutely. She, like she said. The, the bomb. Absolutely. <laughs> Speaking of the bomb, we've got the bomb coming up next. Yes, <laughs> Grammy Award winning singer Regina Bell is here. <laughs> hey, and I heard she's going to be singing a little something, something. Yeah.